to start off i'm going to show you the things i'll be using for my wig that is the hair it's called wonderful i got it from best lady for seven dollars it has that yucky texture then there's the wig cap with the lace part the lace frontal part the uzi the string the crochet hook the small one for the lace the scissors and the needle if you have the cut needle it's the best for wig making you can use it as well so i'll start by fixing my wig up to my dummy then i'll start seeing down the wig by the way guys this hair came in three different sizes there was 18 inches 16 inches and 20 inches so you want to start by sewing down the 16 inches at the back so everything can be uniform for the most part of this video i'll be sewing down the wig so it's, it's a matter of watching and no explanation i know there are different ways to sew down so use the method that you know best another thing guys remember to use double string and make sure your stitches are close together so that your wig can hold so firm now that we don't have a sewing machine. I think I'll let you watch without further explanation. But one thing to remember, the 16 inches hair should go behind, the 18 inches at the middle, and the 20 inches at the front. And guys, remember to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. Kindly subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Like, share, comment, you know, show some love. By the way, guys, I didn't cut my hair at any point. But feel free to cut your hair when you get to the corner, to the end. Okay. Close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow Turns the sun rays and on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways and on. One thing I love about this hair is that it's so much and the waists are already separated. Look how far the 16 inches hair went. So much. Finally guys, we are done with the easiest part of sewing. We are remaining with the closure and we don't have one so we are going to fake. There's this hair that came with the weave, that's what I'll be using, plus the remaining hair from the wefts. So if you want to know how I do it, stick to the end. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. So what we are doing for the lace is that we are taking three to four strands of hair and crocheting it using that small lace crochet hook. And I know it's difficult at first, but after you get used, it becomes a walk in the park. So just observe what I'm doing. Guys, if you can't understand what we are doing, just stick to the end. I'll do a close up. But if you just know how to crochet, you're good to go. We are just crocheting three to four strands of hair. But if you're not understanding, just stick for a close up.
So this is what I'm doing. I'm putting the hook through the lace. Then I'm pulling the strands of hair. As you can see. Then I'm closing the hook. And pulling the hair. That's it. I don't know how well to explain it. But let me try one more time. Put your hook through the lace. Then pull the hair and close the hook. One more time guys, put your crochet hook through the lace. Then pull the hair Then close the hook Yeah, and it's that easy So guys we are finally done with our wig as you can see it looks so pretty and the closure looks on point <laughs> okay and the fact that it's long makes it even more beautiful I love love this wig I'll be wearing it every time honestly I hope you enjoyed guys till next time it's a goodbye from me make sure you comment like and Subscribe, okay?